Strike and Spirit Aero Systems workers were out over the weekend making their voices heard during the first weekend of their strike. Good evening, I'm Leon Purvis. And I'm Pilar Pedraza. While negotiations for a new contract have resumed with a federal mediator, Cakes Nick Nelson talked to a business expert who says this strike could have a big impact on the area economy. He joins us live from Southeast Wichita with more, Nick. That's right. Over the past two days, these streets near Spirit Aero Systems have been filled with strikers and people honking their horns in solidarity. You can hear it right now as we speak. As a matter of fact, you can see a group of strikers just behind me, right in front of the Spirit Aero Systems building. We're here on MacArthur Road, and as I said, they've been here for the past two days. As a matter of fact, the sheriff's office is asking people to avoid this area starting tomorrow. Now, this is the first weekend of that strike since the vote to not accept the contracts. The thing that concerns me the most about this particular strike is if you look at the vote. It was a very lopsided vote. After 85% of union members voted to strike, they've spent the weekend on the streets outside Spirit. <laughs> Whistles could be heard on Oliver Street Sunday afternoon along with several drivers honking in solidarity. Larry Straub is an economics expert at Newman University and says what this means for you and me depends on how long the strike lasts. If this goes one, two, three weeks, maybe up to a month, we're going to be able to kind of hit the reset button and recover from it fairly quickly. Uh, it gets much more than that, and then it starts getting into some pretty serious degrees of damage that it could do to local, regional, and maybe even the national infrastructure. Straub says one of the ways the company could recover faster is to utilize overtime hours once machinists go back to work. Overtime is something the union is fighting to reform. That's the irony of it all is one of the one of the ways they would they would dig out of this hole fairly quickly would be to get back and get a lot of overtime going so they could they could fill those gaps pretty quickly. Wichitans aren't the only ones watching and wondering what this will mean for their pocketbook. The strike is making national headlines since Spirit is a primary supplier of Boeing, which is still recovering from the 737 MAX shutdown. Boeing stock prices have already started to fall. Boeing issued a statement saying, we continue to monitor this situation and support our valued supplier. Watchers encouraged as negotiations between Spirit and the union have picked back up. A mediator from the federal government came in to assist with the back and forth. It definitely signals an importance to the national economy. That's why there's a federal mediator involved in this. The second thing that it, that it really signals is just the ripple effect that's going to emerge from this thing with uh, uh, suppliers and contractors for the aviation industry. Now, over the weekend, the Machinist Union did confirm that there is a federal mediator involved in the process. They said in a statement that their goal is to get the best contract possible. Reporting live, Nick Nelson, Kick News on your side.